Nope, that was not where I was aiming, game. I wanted to go up that rock right beside the front tire. So kick on out of here. Yeah, I want to go up there. That's where I want to be. I know, game, I know. I'm running out of gas. Don't worry about it. Come on, catch the rock. Oh, God's sakes, Digby, put your dips in. It'll work so much better. Yeah, see, it was only a matter of time before I forgot the dips again. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Buddy. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby and today we are back yet again in Expeditions of Mudrunner game. Now in the last video I actually complained a fair bit about the incredibly linear mission structure. You know the bit where, oh well I want to go do this mission and unlock so and so. And the game says, oh no, before you do that you have to go do this mission. And then before you do that one though you have to go do this. All of that crap is still a thing. However, every mission we did in the first episode was actually rated easy by the game. And I have now played a bit more of the game, you know, on my own time, and I have finally actually gotten to an expedition that was rated very difficult. So yeah, I thought it might be interesting and fun to actually jump back into the game and find out exactly what it considers to be a really, really difficult mission. Now even better, this mission is on one of the Arizona maps that I have not actually been to yet. So yeah, I can't remember the name of the map, it's called like Wallahipo or something similar. But yeah, it's on a whole new map, I haven't been on any of it, I have no idea what kind of terrain we're in for, nothing. Now of course with this game being this game, I did have to take a certain truck, which is pretty much the big one that you can put the uh, seismic pounder thing on the back of. So yeah, where we're at is we're on a brand new map, we're in a stock truck with a very heavy load on the back, and I don't actually remember if I like bothered to grab any extra gas I don't think I did I'm pretty sure I didn't grab any of the winch point things either but I might have done I mean we'll find out in a second okay apparently we are in a map called Waweep Bay and no we don't want to travel to the Grand Canyon yeah I literally just got here so we are actually really quick let's check the inventory and see what we brought with us okay yeah we brought absolutely nothing now, really quick, actually I'm going to turn the lights on because I think it's starting to get dark. Now, one thing I did learn when I was doing the previous bit of this, oh, and yeah, if you look at the map, we've only got to go from here, where we are, over to here. And I have a sneaking suspicion the easiest route is going to be, well, basically up this little crack here, and then we're going to end up over here somewhere. And we're gonna, oh, actually, you know what, let's just, um, no, Digby. Okay, apparently that trick does not work like it did on the Mudrunner map. So yeah, I want to make that go away. Oh, I can click and drag. Okay, yeah, we want to basically get over here and we want to drive through there. Oh, wait a minute, that looks like it might be a little bit narrow. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are actually going to do what I was about to say we were going to do, which was that the trick I learned like so far playing is that the easiest way to undo like the fog of war off the map um, that was not what I wanted to do either I wanted to get my binoculars out yeah if you get your binoculars out and you just kinda scan around the area a little bit you will actually unlock some of the map so now if we go back to the map we should have a bit more of this ah yes there we go now we can see what we're doing okay it still looks like we might be better off to go yeah, I do kind of want to end up over here, I think. I mean, this actually looks like it's going to be on top of a really steep hill. So maybe we want to go up on the ridge instead? Well, you know what? The ridge doesn't actually look like it's going to be that bad to get to. So how about we... Uh, where can we get down here nice and easy? I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe over... I mean, I kind of feel like this might be a bit too narrow. That's going to be too much of a drop. Pretty sure we could just get up in here. And then duck down to here. Alright, yeah, let's do that. Let's go up here, and then we will run over to here-ish. And then we'll do a little bit of a scouting job and see where we're at. Uh, Alright.
right truck. Are you running? I cannot remember. Alright, now you're running, yes? I think it's running. Okay, we're gonna want... Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't do diff flux in automatic, Digby. You have to shift the truck by yourself. Okay, park and brake off. Let's do the dips. Let's head over to that ridge and see what we can see. Okay, yeah, it looks like we are definitely gonna have to get up on top of that cliff if we want to do the scanning the way the game wants us to. Alright, so, before we get to our next waypoint, though, it looks like there is something over here. It's probably going to be a mission, but you know what? We can go check it out really quick. Alright, what are you? F showed the task. New objective discovered. The power of water. And that's going to actually unlock the level 3 tires. Not going to follow that. I want to keep track of the very difficult mission I'm on. And yeah, I'm not all that worried about the tires. I mean, I'm sure they make some sort of a difference. But given how much time we spend, you know, pretty much not even bothering with four-wheel drive, I feel like mud tires might be a little bit of overkill at this point. Okay, let's get over here and let's do another binocular scan. And if I have to, I will actually get the drone out and we'll check out how much of a drop this is going to be. Although it looks like we might be able to get down kind of like right above the cab there. Yeah, we should be able to get down there and that's going to get us over there. But before we worry about that, let's just get our binocs out. Let's do a quick scan. Okay, we'll look all down the valley. We'll check all that out. I mean, we could probably get up over there. We could probably get down right there. But then the objective... Okay, where'd the objective go? I think it was over there somewhere, wasn't it? Okay, well here, really quick, let's just go all around the circle. Make sure we've got that logged and tagged and everything else. Okay, where are we at? We've got to go. Okay, game, where do you want me to go? You want me to go up here? Okay, well I can already see the route up. It's going to be through here. Which means we need to get down into this little valley or something. So that we can get up on here, and then we can just drive up and around. I say that, it actually looks like we might need to go down lower. Okay, well, first things first, let's get down to where it's low and actually do some more scouting. Okay, I'm starting to feel like I might not be able to get down through there because I've got this absolutely massive, incredibly low rear bumper on this thing. I mean, we can get a little bit closer at least. Uh, yeah, let's see how rough this is going to actually end up being. Okay, really quick, let's look on the map. Is that going to be narrower than my truck? It absolutely 100% is. Alright, so the best thing to do might be turn back around and go over here, maybe? Alright, we're here. Now, are we going to actually be able to get down there? looks like yes yes we are okay now one thing I'm going to definitely need as soon as possible is going to be an airdrop because I was kind of counting on finding one to actually get extra fuel all right well let's get the drone out and actually check out what this is gonna be like to climb down We've got that big bumper. We're probably going to get hung up. Um, what do you mean it's a no-flight zone? I'm literally 10 feet from my truck. Okay, as I was saying, we're probably going to get hung up on that great big rock right there. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll just go down right there. That's not that bad. And then once we're in the creek here, as long as we don't hit any trees, yeah, we should be okay. Okay, game, if you could please, please, please just give me an airdrop along the way, though, I would be incredibly appreciative. Alright, we gotta go down there. Yeah, 
let's get back in the drive, let's get our dip locks back in, and let's do a bit of rock climbing. thinking I probably want to go into the stream bed and actually come out on that little island over there because if I try and stick with this it's gonna get yeah it's gonna get a little too steep to drive down and I don't think the other side is wide enough that I can actually drive along it actually I don't know well I mean it looks like maybe in that one spot Nope, we're just going to follow the stream, I think. Yeah, okay, this is really shallow. We should be fine. Okay, now let's take a look around and see where we need to go next. Alright, that feels like 360 degrees. So, map, where are we at? Okay, I need to go through... Actually, that looks like it's going to get really deep really quick. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of a scouting area up here we could probably get to. Without too, too much difficulty. Okay, I am still seeing no airdrops. I am seeing absolutely no way possible to get up there. Or at least no easy way to get up there. I mean, it definitely looks like we're going to have to go up from the bottom. Okay, now what was that over there I just saw? Pow water, pow water. Yeah, that just ties into that. That's not a huge help. Okay, what I need, game, is an airdrop. Uh, Alright, well, it looks like we're going to be following the creek bed for a while. Hopefully, we don't run out of gas. Okay, I'm starting to think that I might know how it is we're going to get out of here. Um, I can never remember what the controls are. Okay, so we are definitely going to want to exit the river. What is that? Stone Bridge, okay. Yeah, we're going to want to exit... I call it a river. It's pretty much more of a creek than anything. Okay, is there any airdrops around here, please? I'm really, really starting to get worried about the fuel situation. Alright, well, let's check out the map, see if we figure out where we're going. Okay, we have figured out where we need to go. We basically need to go across here. And then there's an actual road. Okay, what is this over here? That looks like a sign of civilization, which means there might be supplies over that way. I mean, we aren't going to be able to tell from here, but that's not a big deal. 
And then, yeah, once we get up to the road, we can pretty much just go... I say that. I can't actually see a nice, easy way up there right off the bat, but... Well, let's go check out what's going on over there, because I also see something going on right there. I don't know what that is either. I mean, we do have to climb over this big old rock pile here. But with any luck, that won't be all that difficult. I'm starting to hear beeping, and I have a sneaking feeling it's the truck telling me that I am just about out of fuel. So, if there's no gas down at the bottom of this hill, I am pretty much going to have to restart this expedition. Nope, that was not where I was aiming, game. I wanted to go up that rock right beside the front tire. So kick on out of here. Yeah, I want to go up there. That's where I want to be. I know, game, I know, I'm running out of gas, don't worry about it. Come on, catch the rock. Oh, for God's sakes, Digby, put your dips in, it'll work so much better. Yeah, see, it was only a matter of time before I forgot the dips again. Okay, there we go. Now, get your rear tire up on that rock, and we should be... stuck, <laughs> apparently. Alright, do I have any winch I can use? There is a winch point, yay! All right, let's just get ourselves out of this mess. Okay, four-wheel drive off. Winch is released, I think. Nope, I got a little bit more four-wheel drive just to get off the rock. Okay, winch is released. There's something going on over here. Please, for the love of God. Actually, can I shut the truck off, please? Yeah, we're not burning any fuel if the engine's not on. Okay, what is that? That is a broken bridge. Crap. Alright, well here's a thought, Digby. How about we put the binox away? Let's get the drone out. And let's see if we can make it over to... the next bit where the road starts and figure out if there might be some gas up there. Okay, that was just a broken bridge. So the gas is gonna be up here somewhere? Maybe? Please be some gas. Don't give me bad signal. I'm almost to where I can see what's going on up here. Okay, I would have sworn there was something up on this ridge that looked like barrels or something. Okay, hold on. What is this over here? Please be an airdrop. Not that it matters because I don't think I can get to it. Is this actually where I'm supposed to be going? Are you going to tell me what you are? It's just a binocular area. Alrighty. What else do we got going on over here? Yeah, I'm reasonably certain somewhere over there is supposed to be something. I know, you can have your bad signal, it's fine. I just need to get over to here. So I can see what's going on. Oh, is it that down there? Is it just another crappy bridge? Okay, well, I think what I've done here is I have actually made the cardinal sin of assuming. As in, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. So yeah, I just kind of assumed there would be airdrops over here and I could get all the fuel and everything else I needed. And it looks like this map might actually not have any airdrops on it at all. Or at least there aren't any I can see right in the neighborhood. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to scrap this expedition here. I'm going to have to go all the way back to the beginning. And then, yeah, I'm just going to have to hit, like, all the airdrops on the starter map and load up with all the gear we need from there. So it looks like this might be a shorter episode, but it is going to be part one of two. And I have a sneaking feeling we will probably end up doing part two tomorrow. For God's sakes, Digby, you literally drove past like five different airdrops to get to this map, and it never once occurred to me to just stop and grab stuff from them. Well, sh Oh, yeah.